100 days on strike. Your favorite shows and movies are still on hold after writers and studios failed to reach an agreement on resuming negotiations last week. Writers are seeking better pay and protections against job losses due to the use of artificial intelligence. However, the studios say they want to uh, they want a deal that is mutually beneficial that writers are in uh, that writers insist on too much um, is happening in a rapidly changing media landscape. Well, the writer's strike is on top of the actor strike also going on. SAG-AFTRA joined the picket lines just last month. Well, as this historic dual strike continues, the entertainment industry across the country taking a big hit, including right here in Atlanta. We are considered Hollywood of the South. Well, for, the, for thousands, work might stop, but you can't put your bills on pause, and that's causing some to come up with creative ways to bring in additional income. Liner News First anchor Savannah Louie explains. Hannah Hildebrand rolls out a doughy, sticky stress ball. We don't know when this is going to end, um, so I decided to start a little small business. The assistant art director whipping up a new stream of income months after her Atlanta area production shut down due to the writer's strike. She operates Alternative Grains, a gluten-free vegan bakery out of her kitchen. I've been surprised how much of a market there's been. It's definitely a good distraction from really thinking about what's going on. According to the Motion Picture Association, Georgia's film and TV industry creates more than 137,000 jobs and nearly $3.82 billion in total wages. It's going to go on longer than we had anticipated. Allison Petty, a set decoration buyer, one of thousands in Georgia not seeing any of that money. She looks for a bright side, ramping up work on luminous vintage, her lighting repair and refurbishing business. There's been people that have reached out and I know that they're, it's almost like I know that they're doing it just in support of us in general. Despite also picking up a second part-time job like many of her former co-workers, Petty cannot shut off looming concerns. How many more side hustles do I need in order to pay my mortgage or pay my utilities? Both women agree they support the writers and actors as negotiations continue and hope for an agreement soon. All of us want to get back to work. We love our jobs. Um, I, I love doing this, but I can't wait to get back to my, my real career. Now, in the 2021 fiscal year, Georgia's film and TV industry was responsible for more than $4 billion in spending. More than 400 productions employed thousands of people right here in the Atlanta metro area. Now, there is no indication that the strike will be over anytime soon. But in the meantime, if you need a lighting fix or some delicious right. gluten-free vegan bread, I tried it. It is really delicious. We have information about both of those businesses on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Yeah, any way we can support to kind of help get them over this hump. Absolutely. Savannah, thank you.